they would bring uh, animals to the priest and the blood of those animals would be used to cover their sins only for a year. And then they would have to come back the next year with another animal. The priest would take the blood and it would cover their sins again, but yet only for a year. It could never remove it. It could only cover it for a year. Now in verse one, he's talking about the law having a shadow of good things to come but not the very image of the thing. And it can, it can never with those sacrifices, which they offer year by year, continually make the commerce thereunto perfect. Now the word perfect here does not refer to sinless perfection. He's talking about perfect as it pertains to your conscience. Look at Hebrews chapter nine and verse nine. Hebrews nine and verse nine, back up a little bit. So he's talking about uh, the consciousness being perfected. Look at verse nine, let's read it out loud. He says, which was a figure for the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect, perfect as pertaining to the conscience. So he's talking about perfect as pertaining to the conscience. He's talking about a perfect conscience versus a sin conscience. 